Hey everybody, I am back to show you how I maintain this afro overnight. So it was really simple. I pretty much just put it in I want a couple doo-doo twists. I call them doo-doo twists because they're loose. I'm not looking for definition. I'm just looking so I'm doing it so I don't get smushed hair in the morning. So I believe I do it in five. Um, I have this front piece that it, rather because I part it on the side, not the middle. I have two on one side, one on the other, and then the, the back, too. So I don't put anything in it. This is really all I do. And then I put on my bonnet. Um, I bought a bonnet with the satin interior, I guess they call it. And I go to bed. Um, and shortly, you'll see the next day. Okay, next morning. Um, taking them out. All I really do is I untwist them and then smooth it with my hands to perk it up a little bit. Um, sometimes I'll add some water if it feels like it's matted or needs moisture. But really, that's it. Um, I go get the roots, pick it out. I couldn't find my pick, so I just use this white tooth comb. And really, I just play with it with my hands until I get the preferred shape of the afro. Um, sometimes I'll add some bobby pins to the side which looks like, yeah, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> Spin that side back. And I go on about my day. Um, it typically would stay this length all day unless it's like real humid outside or raining. But that's it. I just play with it throughout the day, keep the shape, and that's the back. Voila.